we knew about the kennels. We didn't know about the situation uh, until not that long ago and have been trying to take corrective action in between time. The sad thing is this is a natural disaster in the happening of on a different level of people because here we had a couple of people who years ago were prominent breeders and won the Westminster Dog Show and raised, were proud of what they were doing. But just as in so many other people, uh, they cross that mental line that when you acquire and your dogs multiply unknowingly or unwantingly, uh, and you don't want anything to happen to them, there's a fine line that you cross and you become what we all call hoarders. And that's what we have here. I know people would like to make it a puppy mill, but they haven't sold dogs. They haven't bred to do that, except on a show level and are very much against puppy mills. This is Jody with Toledo Area Humane Society, and they have graciously come down to rescue. How many Sharpays are you taking? Three. Three. Yes. So this guy, or girl? Girl. Girl is um, one of the lucky ones who gets to leave just after noon today. Yeah. You see skin issues, issues with the eyes. Um, you know, maybe injuries that just haven't been treated or, or medical conditions that haven't been treated that just worsen and worsen. So like, you know, skin, skin disease, if they had fleet treatment, would clear up. If it's left for months, then you start to get just real damage to the skin. So um, it, it's heartbreaking because it's a lot of problems that could be alleviated with just, you know, regular, proper medical care. This is where it start, It stops being um, stressful and where you want to pull your hair out and you start wanting to cry tears of joy. This today is what we've been looking forward to. For the, I've only been here since yesterday, and to see the first van pull away with these guys in it makes my heart fill up with joy. To see their tails wag, to know that they're going to go to our emergency placement partners, get the medical care that they need, get the housing that they need, and get the love that they deserve. It's, um, you know... I've been doing this for a long time and it never gets easier. Um, what's, what's incredible to me is how these dogs have suffered and what humans have done to them and they're still willing to kiss you and wag their tail and jump into your arms and know that you're there to, to take care of them and that is, that's amazing. We're seeing um, dogs go out into rescue and you know it's just it's touching you know it's just it's like the you know human spirit at its best helping out you know those who are suffering and, and less fortunate so every time you know we deploy and I, and I see one of these situations um, I'm always touched by the, the people coming together because once they hear about it they're just horrified and like how can I help how can I help that's all people want to do and so that's you know that's that's a really neat thing and never feel like we're in it alone. Does it go through your mind what would happen if you weren't here? Um, you know, I really don't, I don't dwell on that so much. Um, once we're on the scene um, or any of the rescue groups are on the scene, I always feel like, like from this day on their life is going to get better. And that's what I think about. Um, I, I know there's situations like this all over the country in every state. So, um, you know, I, I try to think about the ones that we can help. Just wonder why we even have to exist because the animals didn't deserve any of this, so that's what goes through my head. These dogs, they definitely need some medical help, but they have personalities. Little teeny three pound dogs have personalities beyond belief. They pick, you pick them up and they kiss you, and the love that you're going to feel in return from rescuing a dog is the most amazing feeling of all. To look into their eyes and know that they are there because you stepped up and you opened your home and your heart to a dog that was in need, that's, that's the type of person that I want to meet every day.